Okay, let's take a look at Unit 2, Lesson 4. So, the entire idea behind this lesson is getting used to using heading tags. Okay, so what is a heading? A title or summary for a document or section of a document. So, let's take a look at the exercises. We're skipping two because you're going to watch that video in class, so let's go right to three. So far, you've organized your content into paragraphs. Another way HTML allows you to organize your code is by using headings. A heading is a short piece of text that goes at the top of a section of content, like a title. So here we have headings. My hobbies, that's the biggest one. And then beneath that, there's a smaller heading, soccer, and an even smaller heading beneath that, five years. So let's look at what they want us to do. Do this. Find the headings in the web page below and use the inspector tool to see the code that makes them. So remember, here's the inspector tool. So if I turn that on and I go here, it shows us the code over here. That's using H1 tags. So let's look at soccer. That's using H2 tags. And then five years, that's using H4 tags. Okay, so we read this direction. Now let's move on to the second one. Make sure you and your partner agree on what the tags do. Okay, let's look at the third step. Change the code so that drawing and two years match the headings on the rest of the page. Drawing and two years. And that's in quotation marks, so that must be in here somewhere. Oh, right there. Okay, drawing. Oh, look, it's in paragraph tags. Two years, same thing. It's in paragraph tags. So we want it to look like baking in 10 years instead of drawing in two years. So let's look at the headings. Okay, so baking uses H2. So we're going to put H2 tags next to drawing. And 10 years uses H4 tags. So we're going to put H4 next to two years. So let's do that. Over here, click H2 h2 don't forget to close h4 okay let's scroll down and see if that worked yes it did okay so that's level three let's move on to four okay level four Headings can come in different sizes. In this page, there are six different sized headings, but they are all mixed up. Can you and your partner figure out how to fix them? Okay, do this. Use the inspector tool to figure out what makes the headings different sizes. Okay. Biggest, H3. So let's look at the largest text over here and see what heading tags they have. H1, okay, and the smallest one, is big and that's h6 so what that tells me is that h1 is the biggest h6 is the smallest as the numbers in the tags get bigger the text gets smaller so i'm going to just go down the line make this one make this two make this three four five six so let's do that And then we'll change the text after so that it corresponds with its own size. We don't have to change this one. It's already H5. Okay, so we want... Oh, this... Oh, it is corresponding. Okay, never mind. Okay. Make sure you and your partner agree. Change the tags. I forgot to read that direction. Change the tags so that the headings are in order from biggest to smallest. And the text says the correct size, as in the picture below. We did that. Well done. That was exercise four. Exercise five. I'm going to let you do that on your own. Let's move on to six. Headings and paragraphs. The author of this page added in a lot of content, but did not think about structure. All of the text is mashed together. Okay, yeah, there's no there's no headings here. 
do this. Look through the content with your partner and decide what you think the best structure should be. Okay, my pets have, I have three different pets. Okay, that's not a proper sentence. And if you look, they capitalize pets. So usually in headings, two words are cap or two or more words are capitalized. Whereas when you write a sentence, the first word is only capitalized. Do you see that? My pets, both words are capitalized, but here is a sentence and only the first word I is capitalized. So that's probably supposed to be heading. Oh, okay. And we see over here in the code, clearly the person wanted to put heading tags around my pets. And what do you think? I think we should put paragraph tags around this paragraph. So let's, let's do H1 around this because it's the biggest. Oh yeah, look, looks much better. Oh, I forgot to read this direction again. Use your heading and paragraph tags to code the structure into the page. Okay, so let's scroll through this code a little more. Let's put some paragraph tags here. Okay, Lula. So my pets is the title. So I think it's appropriate that we put them in H1 tags. But here, they're going to break the page down further by names of pets. So I'm going to make that heading a little bit smaller and put it in H2 tags. Yeah, that looks good. Look over here. So Lula is a little smaller than my pets, which is the title of the page. And then we have dogs. So I guess this person is also breaking it down into what type of pet this this Lula is. So let's make that even smaller than the name Lula. Let's make that H3. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's put these in paragraph tags. Because it's a paragraph. Slowpoke. Okay, it's another name. What did we do? Okay, Lula was H2. Slowpoke, I guess that's the name of his turtle. Let's put that in H2. And then turtle, what did we put the dog? Okay, we put dog in H3 tags, so let's put turtle in H3 tags. Okay, then he describes his turtle. Let's put that in paragraph tags. Hamster. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hamster is the name of his pet fish. Okay, that was confusing. Okay, let's put that in H2 tags. Because that's the name of his pet fish. And then the, the type of animal hamster is, is a fish. So we put that in H3 tags. Because we want that a little smaller than his name. Okay. All right, look. Look at how good this page looks now because of headings. Okay, let's move on to seven. Let's take a look. Headings and paragraphs make headings. Okay, so look over this page, read it quickly, and then move on to eight. And recall the problem solving process. This is going to be very useful in the coming lessons. There's a lot of problem solving when you do code. Okay, they want you to think of a, a personal web page and they want you to use the problem solving process to create it. Let's move on to 10. Okay, start your project. Now that you have a plan for your personal website, you can start coding it here. Don't worry if you can't do everything you want today. You'll have plenty of chances to improve your work as you learn more about developing websites. Do this. 
Use HTML to create the page that you sketched out. Make sure it includes at least two headings of different sizes. Don't worry if you haven't sketched out a page, okay? I just want you to think of something and create it if you didn't sketch it out. Okay, so our requirements, we need at least two headings of different sizes and at least one paragraph. Reflect on your page by comparing to your sketch. Okay, let's forget about that step for now. Okay, so make it about anything you want and it needs two different headings and one paragraph. So, of course, always we want to put it in between the opening and closing body tags, okay? Don't put content up here, okay, in between. So, I am going to start with H1 tag. And in between those tags, I'm going to type about me. Beneath that, let's go with a, what's going on here? Let's go with the H3 tag. And we'll say chess. And then in a paragraph tag. I like to play chess. Okay, as you see, I made at least two headings of different sizes and I did at least one paragraph. So I'm done this exercise.